Okay, so Daryl, welcome to Lancashire. You must you must be really excited to be here. Yeah, no, it's awesome, I guess, to be here and, and to get settled into the group and yeah, I guess to look out the window and see Emirates Old Trafford is pretty special. So um, yeah, looking forward to the next few months and, and getting stuck in. It's been a bit of rain around since you arrived. Has you managed to get out there and have a hit at all? Yeah, we had a quick little little session, which was nice, but um, also yeah, been, the schedule's been pretty busy the last few months with New Zealand, so it's quite nice to just, I guess, settle in and, and watch the rainfall and, and then we'll get stuck in tomorrow. And of course, some familiar faces for you. You've got Colin de Grand Tom, who you've played with on the international stage, but you also know Richard Gleeson and Stephen Croft from your time at Blackpool. It must, it must be nice to see them again. Yeah, it's obviously nice to have a, a Kiwi connection with Dutchie here. And, and then obviously you have some good mates in Crofty and Gleeson who uh, played with Blackpool a few many years ago in, in club cricket. So yeah, it's always nice to get seeing them, but also I guess to meet the, the rest of the group and, and hopefully uh, yeah, create some friendships that will last a long time. Just to touch on your time at Blackpool quickly, what from when we put the announcement out that you were joining, there was like sort of a big buzz from people at Blackpool. It seems like you're really well fondly remembered there. What, what, what do you make of your time from there? Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was about 2016 we were over there and um, yeah, me and my wife, it was pre-kids, so it was a great way for us to come over and, and experience some cricket and be able to travel around the UK as well. And um, yeah, we've got some, some good long friends there that we yeah, still keep in touch with now, so definitely looking forward to catching up with them over the summer, um, but at the same time, yeah, just really excited to be here at Lancashire and, and to yeah, get stuck into some cricket. And of course, from your time with New Zealand, you've got quite a good record in England. Did pretty well in the Test Series last year. That must, that must give you some confidence going into this spell. Yeah, I guess you have good days and bad days in cricket. And uh, yeah, for me, I, I've got some great memories from playing over here in the UK, especially last summer. Um, but yeah, uh, just yeah, really looking forward to, I guess, um, trying to keep those processes going, that how I want to go about my game over in these conditions. And yeah, there will be good days and some bad days, but hopefully we have a few more good than bad. And you were also named one of the Wisdom Cricketer of the Year. That must be a really proud honour for you. Yeah, that was something really cool. It's something I, I guess I didn't expect it when, uh, when I woke up that morning to see that award um, on my phone. So, no, look, it's, it's an a amazing honour to be part of that group. There's obviously some, some pretty cool players that have they've won that award in the past. And, yeah, for me, I uh, probably don't think my name probably resonates with some of those players, but it's uh, awesome to be part of that group. And all being well weather-wise, you should be set to make your debut here at Emirates Old Trafford tomorrow against Somerset. It, again, you must just be really looking forward to getting out there and getting going. Yeah, really looking forward to coming out here at Emirates Old Trafford. It, I lived in Manchester when I was a little kid with Dad's, with Dad's job, so I guess I uh, came watched a few games here as a kid. So to be able to now come out here and play for Lancashire uh, on the ground will be pretty special and yeah, looking forward to it. And we've, had, we've started the season with four draws in the county championship. Unfortunate not to get over the line in the couple of the games. What's, what's been the chat so far from, from like the meetings you've had with the lads? Is everyone determined to just get that first win on the board? Yeah, I think it's the nature of four-day cricket at times, especially uh, in the early English summer with a, a bit of weather around and things like that. So, um, yeah, it sounds like the guys are playing some great cricket. They're all confident in how they're going about their business. And I know they're looking forward to tomorrow to getting stuck in again on a, on a fresh fresh pitch in a new day and, and trying to win little moments. And hopefully we can yeah, go a long way to, to winning the game. And slightly further down the line, you're also here for the Vitality Blast T20 competition. That must be a competition you're really excited to feature in. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. You always you always see Old Trafford absolutely pumping during the Vitality Blast, so it's going to be cool, I guess, to play in front of some full crowds here, um, and yeah, get um, yeah see see what happens. Hopefully, we can go deep in the competition and, and bring home a trophy. I'm sure the Roses match is one that you've heard about, sold out against the big rivals in Yorkshire. Crofty and Gleese must have filled you in on, on what it's like to play in one of those. Yeah, I guess that's why you play the game in many ways, is to be able to play in those big moments and, and experience uh, crowds and, and games like that. So, yeah, it's definitely something on the calendar. As soon as I saw that I was coming over here, try and yeah, see that that was there and, yeah, it'll be good fun. And later in the summer, there's also a return to Blackpool as well. There's a T20 there and also a county championship match. It'd be nice to see some old faces. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the wicket might be a bit better than what we played on when we played a couple of those club games back in the day. But no, nah, really excited to get over there. Obviously, it's a, it's a cool little uh, club ground as well. And um, yeah, it'll be nice to see some people. Thanks, Daryl, and good luck. Cheers, bro. Thank you.